In Greenville County, the family attorney of a robbery victim killed by deputies isn't backing down. A deputy on scene was shot in the head during that shooting and survived. WYFF News Force Corey Davis is here in the studio with more on why a lawsuit was filed citing wrongful death. Corey. Nigel, today the family attorney told me he believes deputies didn't follow protocol. He says they can't go back in time, but looking forward, he's hoping deputies are held accountable for the deadly outcome. This incident that could have been avoided if law enforcement had gone through proper procedures. Attorney Fletcher Smith is accusing deputies of excessive force and not following protocol after the death of Charles Rosemond. This man was lawfully in his house uh, and he got shot and killed by law enforcement. That is enough to take this case to the jury. On December 10th, deputies were responding to a reported robbery at the Spring Grove apartments at the unit where Rosemond lived. Deputies say they knocked on his door, didn't get an answer. They looked inside and the apartment appeared to have been ransacked. Deputies forced their way in and say Rosemond fired his gun, hitting Deputy Dave Dempsey in the head. The lawsuit claims that deputies didn't identify themselves before entering. So how do you know they didn't identify themselves? Well, I don't believe that Mr. Roseman, from a circumstantial evidence standpoint, would have shot law enforcement officers. So if they had adequately, the word adequately, identified themselves, I don't think there would have been any shots from the inside. Roseman was shot in the leg. What was the probable cause? There's no probable cause that Mr. Mr. Roseman committed a crime. There was no outstanding warrant for his arrest. The Greenville County coroner says Roseman bled out and died in the apartment after the bullet hit a major artery in his leg. The lawsuit accuses deputies of not being properly trained to save his life. The coroner says deputies pulled back after shots were fired and it took some time to confirm the scene was safe. As we understand it, the officers did render care and treatment to the officer who had been shot in the head. So at the same time they were securing the scene, they were probably giving him medical care and treatment. How how about not Mr. Uh, Roseman? Now, the sheriff's office told me it's their policy not to comment on pending lawsuits. At 6 o'clock, we'll have three major goals Roseman's attorney is hoping the lawsuit will accomplish. Nigel.